Hello there everyone, it is Lynx100 and I'm back with another walkthrough. My re-walkthrough on Dark Souls. So yeah, I'm gonna name this character Link. It's going to be a male class. Um oh. either one or or a knight. The physique is definitely gonna be slim. Gift definitely gonna be a master key. Face, Far East Traveler, hair, short, color, dark red, customized. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, wandering. Okay, so here we go. I got a whole lot of views on the, the Dark Souls walkthrough, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, the I'll shut up now. Unfolded, shrouded by fog, a land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. That too looks epic. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods. Zeus. Western skills. The witches weaved great firestorms. Don't dragons shoot fire? So wouldn't that be a bad idea? That means the dragons aren't no more because there's still one left. The age of fire. But soon the flames will fade and only dark will remain. That's deep right there. Even now there are only embers. Sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carrying. 
areas of the accursed dark side. Well, that was sure intense. Or surely. Yep. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. That's really crappy fate. Looks like that's me. And my face is crappy. And all uh, undead. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Can you. Please, quit dropping people from the roof. It's just gonna kill them. Well, here we go, straight in the game. I don't like it with the hood, but right now I'm just gonna use it since I'm undead. Dang, I'm pretty fast with that uh, all the armor I'm uh, playing as a knight or a warrior. Well, that dude is huge. Oh, and yeah, we could fight him as an optional boss l later. Not, not for a while though. I mean, I was only able to beat him once, but that's it, really. Okay, so. Like the first ball. Okay. So. Strange place. Oh crap! Whoa, I gotta get out of here. Haha, uh. <laughs> you can't get me. Hmm. Another bonfire. Get your shield. Okay. Whoa. I don't like using shields, but desperate times come. Call for desperate measures. Hey, where'd you go? Beat you up. Yes, I got a busy sword. Die. Mr. Shooting arrows at me, jerk. I'm ready, come on, bring it.
If you stand right there, the boulder can't hit you. Yeah. Oh, and countering with your hand is, I hear, is incredibly hard to do, so... I'm epic! Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. Oh, I'll die soon. Oh, you're the one that threw the no body in my, my sanity. Cage. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Well, you did give me the key uh, to unlocking my cell, so you yeah. in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, thanks. And this. Now yeah, I thanks, buddy. Farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And oh. thank you. Oh. See ya. Oh, and they spelled favorite wrong. Actually, I think that's the spelling in written. Whoa. Mm -hmm. No! He just killed himself. Superstar is never the answer, man. Oh well. Just shooting arrows at me. Jerk. Yo. Take that. Nice try, but um no cigar. Oh hey, what's up, buddy? Hey. This is for attacking me. And now, you are going down. Crap. Hey. Screw you. Finish him! Fatality! Yeah! What now, player? Sweet, I got a humanity and a big pilgrim key. Okay, well. Yep. And use the key, and we will escape. Oh, and in case you guys want to know where the kind of hidden thing is. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. Hey, Snuggly. Yeah, that's right, that's Snuggly of the Crow. That's what people call it, so. Yep. Well, that's a really nice view. I gotta check it out from the top. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an unknown Oh my gosh. Ah 
to leave the undead aside well it looks like it's taking me away somewhere this watch is gonna drop me lords. I just do it <sighs> yeah it's just gonna drop me Lord run for a Lord run or Narnia or pan whatever yeah it's just gonna drop me and I'm gonna fall after it shows me this cool thing like this is where you're going see see I told you he would drop me and there's just a dude over there Okay, I get it. You level up at bonfire. Well, yep. what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead. <laughs> that dude's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over here. Humanity. Humanity restored. I look cool, man. Well, anyway, that's it for part one, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. 